At one point or another in life, most of us have found ourselves burdened with some sort of a habit that we might like to break, whether that's about Diet Cokes or sweets or dangerous drugs. Sometimes we get into this habit simply out of boredom or because others around us are doing it. We might find, if we look back, that there was an instigating factor where we realized we were bored and decided to change it, or we decided we wanted to fit in with a certain crowd, or perhaps there was some sort of traumatic experience that caused us to want to dull our pain. Whatever the case may be, on the Native Strength Path, we have two excellent tools to help us unravel the mysteries of how this habit started and what we can do to change it. The wheel of life is the most important medicine wheel of all. It's the basic key to all the other ones. And we use the wheel of life with something called the circles of life. Now I realize these two sound very similar and they can be confusing, but the wheel of life contains one medicine wheel, and the circle of life contains many, four big ones, eight little ones around the outside, and one in the center. So there's a lot of circles or wheels in the circles of life teaching. All of these wheels in the circles of life have numbers by them, and the, nor the numbers correspond to our ages, whatever age we might be, at that particular time in our life puts us facing a certain direction on that wheel. That's where the wheel of life comes into play. We use the wheel of life to figure out what it means to be facing any particular direction on any particular little wheel and any particular big wheel. I'll show you what I mean in this excerpt. We have a great tool to help us with this, the wheel of life. Habits are often started as a way to help ourself to heal or to ease our pain. If we look back, there's probably something that began our journey down this path. Perhaps it was a traumatic experience, a disappointment, or we were under some sort of extreme pressure. This might have built up over the course of several years before our habit became fully formed. We can use the circles of life to examine where we were when this all began. Take a look at these wheels. The numbers stand for our ages in years and months. For example, 13.6 would be 13 years and 6 months. By using the circles of life, we can examine where we were when major events took place and how we were affected by them. In many ways, overcoming habits is about healing unprocessed events of the past. We can see that at 13.6 years, we would have been in the west of the small west circle on the big south circle. We use the wheel of life to interpret what this all means. Whatever happened at 13.6 years of age naturally struck us in the heart of our emotions. That's because we're on the big south wheel where our emotions form a frame that influences how we interpret events. We're on the small west circle, and that means the physical world had a big impact on us at that point in time. Events that happened while we were on this circle would affect how we look at our body and our place in society. Now you may have noticed that we're also placed in the west of this small west circle at this age. So events that happened then would have twice the impact on our physical world, our interpretation of where we fit in it, our own body, and introspection. Because these are all attributes associated with the west on the wheel of life. 
Now we have a clearer understanding of how we might have looked at things that happened at this age. That's the first step to changing our mind and, as a result, changing our life. It's our inability to find positive ways to process these events that leads us to our bad habits. So by using the wheel of life and the circles of life, we can get a better understanding of what caused us to start our habit to begin with. This gives us a starting point where we can see where we were at that point in time and what our thought processes and decisions were that led to this habit. Then we can reverse engineer it and decide a better way to look at things, better thought processes, better decisions, and these will lead to a better ability to use our willpower and our intellect to break these bad habits. I hope this helps you if you have a bad habit or know anyone who does that might help them to change their situation. Sometimes our habits are as simple as just not being able to control our anger or biting off a little bit more than we can chew. And sometimes that just takes a little bit of reflection and understanding and patience with ourselves. Thank you very much for watching.